Hello, beautiful people. So what I want to do in this video is talk about why I believe bacterial conversion from ibucinic acid to muscimol might be important to you for different health benefits and health reasons. I'll make the case for that. And I am going to leave a lot of links to the research that I'm talking about or some of the things that I might refer to in the description of the video on amanitadreamer.net. Um, it's been the case too many times that I've put links in descriptions of videos on YouTube and I get a strike on them. So you can go to amnydreamer.net. It's free to use. I don't even ask for your email. There's no account. You don't have to sign up. Just go watch. This video is going to be in the full conversion playlist, the Soma Ibotenic Acid full conversion playlist. So let's get started. So all I did is do a search for gut bacteria. That's going to give you a lot of information and overviews, but the general concept and idea is that we know that gut bacteria are complex and we have so many of them that control different parts of our biotic and that they are actually extremely important for mental health and are probably making most of the neurotransmitters that are in our brain, that our brain is not making them. They're made in the gut and then sent to the brain. And that then means that the gut bacteria that we have is going to be very important. And this, just the grabbing the first article here, what it says about you, and it's just mentioning disease states and different bacteria that they believe might be involved in those things. So, you know, type two diabetes, kidney disease, inflammatory diseases. And then of course, there's the Trent Austin patent from 2011, which discusses the conversion of ibotenic acid to muscimol. And in it, he was talking about using bacteria, lactobacillus bacteria that create GAD, glutamate decarboxylase, and that the GAD then was the one responsible for converting ibotenic acid to muscimol but also it's doing this in the body, converting what we need to GABA. So let's talk about that. So if you just do a search for glutamate decarboxylase or glutamic acid decarboxylase, you'll get something like what you see here on the screen, which just shows the pathways of conversion. And it can happen in the gut. It also happens in your nervous system. So central meaning in the brain and spinal cord but then also the peripheral nervous system, which is the rest of your body, but also in the enteric, which is the gut, the nervous system in your gut, as well as in the pancreas. And in our bodies, what GAD is doing is it is one of the limiting and controlling factors for how much GABA we make. And GABA, remember, is what is involved in the brain in helping to create that calming side of the fight or flight response. And in Amanita muscaria, muscimol fits into those receptors. So I keep seeing over and over that glutamate and the glutamate pathways, ibotenic acid can plug into those same receptors along some of those pathways. And then the same way that glutamate is then converted to GABA is the same way that ibotenic acid is converted to muscimol. So they play identical roles in the body. And that pathway in the body is so highly complex. And Amanita muscaria, what I believe it's doing is it's not like a lot of people see modern drugs, the way a modern drug is just one synthetic compound that goes into a complex system and forces it to do something. When you look at natural things like Amanita muscaria, the whole mushroom and all of the compounds that are in it that are on board, that when you put that in your body, it is entering a complex system as its own complex thing, fitting into that system and helping to balance it by being able to enter both sides of this pathway, the IBO and muscimol side, the glutamate and GABA side. And that way it is a balancer, which is why I'm always talking about 50-50 conversion and the T recipe. But what we're talking about here is mostly GABA or full conversion muscimol, and you may need that for a lot of different reasons, which I can't really talk about here, but all of the reasons why you would need to calm your nervous system down from different disease states and nervous system states to high states to anything that you are trying to turn the volume down on the immune overacting and all of the nervous system disorders and anything that is in a high state that you need to turn that down. And 
for autistic folks and people on the entire ADHD spectrum, there is a lot of information coming out now where we have issues in our glutamate pathways with really low or really high glutamate and issues with GABA, that our GABA may just continually be bottoming out, which could be why we are in a constant state of anxiety. That has nothing to do with, with trauma, which that can also happen in trauma, but this is a genetic issue that, that we were born with these things in these states. And then there's a lot of research then about our gut bacteria and how the transplantation or the introduction or the improvement of certain bacteria will then improve some of those states. But even if you're not on the ADHD spectrum, you could have issues then in the processing of glutamate and GAD and GABA and that pathway where Amanita muscaria not only is already helping you, but also certain bacteria can also help with that pathway. And that's the purpose of this video. So this is an article about general lactobacillus strains since they are the ones that create GAD for use as probiotics if you just want to see some of the research on different strains and sort of a place to jump off from. If you want to look at lactobacillus bacteria for different treatments of different diseases, and I'll have this linked. And then this is some of the wording in the Trent Austin patent, which I will also link that talks about the specific bacteria they used. They go on to say you can use any because any lactobacillus bacteria are going to create GAD, but these are the ones that were specifically used um, right here in that study. And this is an article uh, that talks about one bacteria that I'm really fascinated with, Ruteri or Ruteri, lactobacillus Ruteri. Let's see if you can see that title. I will also be linking this one. And this one specifically helps increase oxytocin, which is the love hormone, which I also find interesting since Amanita is the love mushroom. And it is found in human breast milk. Uh, it's not found in raw cow's milk, which is another reason to be making your, or trying to make your conversion with like a yogurt maker. And that's going to be one of my videos that you can go find is how to make it with different bacteria and how to actually build the bacteria that you want to make the conversion with. And lastly, I want to say that there are symptoms of low GAD in the body, which remember you can get GAD from any lactobacillus bacteria, which are probiotic bacteria, which are part of a healthy gut. And those symptoms are muscle rigidity, muscle spasms, limb ataxia or inability to control movement, and then balance disorders, easily being off balance, moving too quickly and getting off balance. So a lot of us that have come, well, I am already out of balance just from my um, autism and my left and right brain communication. But when you throw in there that many pharmaceuticals cause this when you start to come off of them, especially if they were helping to reduce movement and that fight or flight response and turn the volume down on your nervous system, um, because they don't know the entire glutamate GABA pathway and its complexities, and they don't make drugs that are complex. They make very simple drugs that just go in and sort of jerk that system around. It's affecting the entire cascade of that symptom, of that system which then as you're coming off of it can cause horrendously painful symptoms, especially like I went through coming off of benzodiazepines. And now I'm wondering, I'm not saying this is the case, we don't know, but I'm looking at this and wondering, I wonder if it was GAD being affected, my gut bacteria being all out of whack, not having any or very low lactobacillus bacteria in my gut and low GAD then in my gut, causing a lot of this that the medication was masking or potentially causing and that the addition of GAD by making bacterial yogurts that are specific to lactobacillus bacteria, that that could be medicine with or without Amanita. But if you're going to be doing a conversion you could do this conversion with lactobacillus that you pick and choose. So that was the whole reason for making this. It was a lot of science stuff to help give you somewhere to go, to help you research all of this, to help you see 
where my, my mind goes in all of this as I continue to build and learn. And if you want to support this channel, please go to amanitadreamer.net. If you want to support this site, amanitadreamer.net, and that's where you're seeing this, it is 100% free. So there are a lot of ways. You can go to mushroomvoice.com and purchase something or become part of our community, or you could buy me a coffee. Thank you. I love you, beautiful people. Bye.